For years, the Sisters of the Good Shepherd and lay collaborators have responded to problems directly. Nothing will ever replace that. Five, six, seven, eight. Ready, girls? But we don't live in a vacuum. Our legislators need to know what Good Shepherds see. Troubled youth, broken families, drug addicts, abused women, undocumented immigrants. We can be voices that challenge. The National Advocacy Center is a new program voicing Good Shepherd concerns to lawmakers. Our goal is to change unjust laws and create new policies that benefit the poor. It is a lofty goal, but we are committed to it. My name is Sister Bridget Lawler. I am the National Coordinator. Call us to hear the voices that challenge even the hearts of all people by serving your world as lovers and dreamers. We become voices that challenge for we are the voice of God. St. Mary Euphrasia the foundress of the Sisters of the Good Shepherd advocated for the disenfranchised members of society. One time, during her travels, she met a young girl on the verge of suicide. She invited that girl to live at our mother house in Anjay. She wrote to the girl's former companion, who was a physician of great means. She promised him confidentiality, but asked him to take responsibility for his actions. He met with St. Mary Euphrasia and helped the young woman. I invite you now to see how the National Advocacy Center follows in the footsteps of St. Mary Euphrasia today. On this day, Dottie Davis, the program coordinator at the Mediation Program in Philadelphia, visits and tours the National Advocacy Center. We explained to her that our constituency includes the Good Shepherd Apostolic and Contemplative Communities and Ministries located in 22 states and some U.S. territories. We also connect with the larger Good Shepherd Network because so often U.S. policy affects others. Located in 67 countries, we collaborate with our International Justice and Peace Secretariat in Rome. Our congregation is an NGO in special consultative status with the United Nations. We work with our sister contact in New York. This year, we focused on children and family concerns, women's issues, peace initiatives, and immigration. Some of the topics included TANF reauthorization, child care, trafficking of human persons, and corporate stances against war, as well as the restoration of legal benefits to immigrants. Congress is at its best when we do all we can to accomplish these goals as well. A helping hand for the disadvantaged and for those who need help the most is a basic responsibility of government. I'm very grateful to the sisters for the support that they have given to the efforts in Congress to raise the minimum wage, provide affordable child care, and take other steps to help families lift themselves out of poverty and improve their lives. Catherine Ward is our education coordinator. This role is filled each year by a full-time Good Shepherd volunteer. The education component includes research and communication. Okay, I think you're expecting me. We work with many other groups, organizations like Network, Children's Defense Fund, Pax Christi, and the Coalition on Human Needs. We use scripture, the social teachings of the church, and Good Shepherd spirituality as a framework for evaluating issues. Once our position is clear, 
the information goes out to our agencies and to our sisters. We connect with the advocacy center by receiving information, praying for the intention, and acting upon the message by writing or calling or email senators and side petitions. We run workshops for our sisters and agencies. They can also participate in our internship programs. Mr. Allen, Mr. Baucus, Mr. Bai. Once Mr. a year, Bennett, we sponsor Good Shepherd Bob, Lobby Days. Mr. Bingaman, our advocates Mr. from around the country Mr. join us Bob, in Washington. After study and prayer on the issues, they visit their senators and representatives. Mr. Biden, for those who can't Mr. make Bingaman, it to Washington, Mr. we urge similar efforts in their home districts. In Minnesota, Sister Gabriel's efforts were even featured in the news. Well, tonight we want to share the story of an 82-year-old woman who puts the phrase full act of life to the test. Good morning, Senator Wellstone. I have the, a packet here which tells you all the issues. The specific Sister Gabriel Herbers has no plans to slow down and is leading several petitions to end U.S. On a quarterly basis, we also publish a newsletter. Monthly, we highlight a single issue in alleged facts. I realize I moved recently and... I really need to get out to register for voting. The National Advocacy Center is a registered lobby with the Senate and the House of Representatives. It has been approved by the IRS as a 501c4 corporation. This means that we can devote 100% of our time to lobbying. Our other Good Shepherd agencies are different. As 501c3s, they can only spend about 5% of their time in lobbying activities. I would first suggest sending it to their local office. Allison Prevost is our full-time lobbyist. My role is to try to convince the legislators that certain changes need to be made in programs and in laws. It's good for us to hear the real life stories. You can put faces on this. We get statistics here. But when you see that one child, you know you see really put a face on the problem. It's amazing mm -hmm. how much of a difference that makes. I also commend the sisters for their efforts to achieve peaceful solutions to the global challenges facing our nation. The sisters in the United States created our corporate statement against war. We hand delivered the statement to every senator and every representative. We held meetings with the congresspersons from the states where Good Shepherds are located. We were able to speak as constituents, voting constituents. Thank you. Keep up your good work. We speak not only from a national perspective, but from a worldwide perspective. For example, we have sisters who lived through war in Vietnam, in El Salvador, in Pakistan, in Indonesia. We had a sister murdered by the Shining Path in Peru. We can speak on behalf of and with the poor, the millions of women and children affected by war. Our lobbying for a Department of Peace begins to make sense when we can back up our message. As the most powerful nation in the world, we have a responsibility to use that power wisely in the cause of peace for all peoples everywhere. It is a noble mission, and we must not fail. We can be voices that challenge.